sister, her own sister, she called her sister, was doing the same. Yet Carrie Ann is still working with her. So I don't understand. You excuse Jackie because of the Evan thing. You excuse Carrie Ann for whatever reason, but you're pissed at Margaret, who you hate anyway. Like, make it make sense. That's that's how phony that storyline is. But anyway, so Carrie Ann, you guys, this is important. This is exclusive tea, by the way. Carrie Ann has been a Teresa's assistant for over a decade. And when Louie came into the picture, Carrie Ann saw some things she didn't like. And so naturally, when she heard that an ex was telling her story about him, she was curious, I'm sure, just like all of us were. But then I think it came to a point where Carrie Ann heard one too many things that were like red flags that caused her to, to be concerned for Teresa. And I have no doubt that Carrie Ann loves Teresa. And back then, you guys, when I found out Carrie Ann was talking to Louie, I took that as like, what the fuck is this bitch doing? Like, wow, like I was mad that Carrie Ann was talking to Vanessa. But now that I see the whole story for what it is, you guys, and now that I have all the receipts and the facts, Carrie Ann was just concerned. So I don't hold anything over Carrie Ann for talking to Vanessa because she was genuinely concerned. Here came Louie mm -hmm. and began to influence Teresa and be became a huge part of her life. I mean, in the one season we met Louie, Come the finale, he was asking Joe Gorga for his sister's hands. I mean, we even had Gia say, don't you think you're moving a little too quick, mom? So, I mean, there was plenty of people in Teresa's inner circle telling her, hey, pump the brakes. We're hearing things. We're seeing things. And actually, Gia, again, said to her she was a little bit worried about some of the stories she was seeing about him. Anyhow, long story short, Carrie Ann was concerned. At first, when I found out she was talking to Vanessa... I took it as like, wow, this bitch is betraying Teresa, but now I see it for what it is. She was mm -hmm. concerned. So Carrie Ann began having a relationship with Vanessa and talking to her this whole time. Anyhow, um, Teresa, Teresa, the day she found out Carrie Ann was involved with Vanessa, that was because of myself. So myself and my friends on the inside where, you know, we were spying and we were snooping on Vanessa per Jim Leonard. And I remember when we came across Carrie Ann following Vanessa and Vanessa following Carrie Ann, and we came across Carrie Ann liking Vanessa's post. So that was a huge, like, that, can you imagine, like, here I am spying on Vanessa Riser, and someone from within our own camp is following this girl and liking her posts. I take those screenshots, I text them to Teresa, and I said, hey, Teresa, look, what the hell is this? I called her and I was like, why is Carrie Ann following her? And why is she liking her post? Boom. Teresa's like, I got to call Jim. She gets on the phone with Jim. She's talking to Jim. I'm still texting Teresa. Like this is, you know, showing her stuff. And she's like on the phone with Jim. She texts me. As soon as she gets off the phone with Jim, what happens? Jim calls me. And this was one of the many times that he went off on me, but this one was like, like, you know, I got, I got goosebumps. Like when he was yelling at me, he was like, Hey, what are you doing? What do you fucking think you're doing? And I said, what? What are, you, what are you talking about? He's like, why are you showing Teresa that Carrie Ann is following and liking Vanessa's posts? I was like, dude, like, chill out. You told me to spy. And if I see anything weird or suspicious, to send it. He's like, send it to me. Why are you sending it to her? I said, because that's her assistant. And I think it's weird that someone on our team is talking to the enemy. And he was like, what are you fucking doing? That's been her fucking assistant for over a fucking decade. You just fucking got here, Gabriella. Sit the fuck down. Don't ever fucking do that shit again. And I remember at the time, David, I was like, I even told my friends, I was like, what? How is he not mad that one of the closest people in Teresa, like one of the person closest to Teresa is talking to the so-called enemy? How is that not a red flag? Why am I getting yelled at? Like, it made no sense, right? But now that I've talked to everyone behind the scenes and looked at text messages and emails and everything, now that I got the whole story, I realized, David, Jim Leonard was aware that Carrie Ann was talking to Vanessa, just like Jim Leonard was aware that Kim D was talking to Vanessa. And Jim Leonard likes to stick people in camps or in people's DMs, like myself, to get information. He likes to put a little mold in places so he can gather tea. 
So then looking back now, like I see it as Jim, you carry on was talking to Vanessa because they wanted to see what they could get, what information, but not for the sake to use it against Vanessa, but so they could use it against Louie if ever needed be. Carrie Ann and Jim Leonard were informing themselves per Vanessa's receipts into Louis Ruelas because they both were concerned for Teresa. They both knew this guy came in and just flipped the table on everyone. They both knew he had power now over Teresa and they both know his character. He yells at them all the time. He harasses them like the time they were in Tequila, Mexico for the Danos event and Carrie Ann was walking and Louie was in her ear saying, oh, good for fucking you, Carrie Ann. You got Teresa the $300,000 deal with Danos. Oh, what are you fucking perfect, Carrie Ann? What do you who do you think you are, Carrie Ann? Like when he was harassing her in that instance, they have been subjected, Jim Leonard and Carrie Ann to Louie's crazy madness. So they know what he's about. They see him for who he is, but they're scared of him. Because again, all it takes is for Louis to say, Teresa, we're cutting Jim Leonard, we're cutting Carrie Ann, and there is money involved, and boom, they're done. So these people were preparing themselves in every which way against Louis, if ever needed, you know? So long story short, for Teresa to go and attack Margaret for talking to Vanessa makes zero sense, guys, because she hates her, number one. She does not like Margaret. And number two, her own assistant was talking to Vanessa. So what we're going to witness at the finale when they go back and forth and fight, I I, I don't laugh at that, you know, but I'm, I'm going to look at it, David, and I'm going to be like, what a fucking waste of TV time. I agree. And I heard also about Carrie Ann and Jim that, right, they both saw red flags with Louie and they want their own ammunition. And yes, if Louis tells Teresa to get rid of Carrie Ann and or Jim, despite decades, she will absolutely do it. I mean, it's yeah. they're worried about their own. It's all a power play. Well, Everyone's. You, yeah, they're all worried about their bag and they're all worried about what, you know, power they'll they'll because I mean, there is power in regards to being close to Teresa because, you know, the, these people are all getting paid in, in how they work and stuff. Jim Leonard gets a cut. Uh, I remember when I was getting ready to exit camp, they were fighting that Jim Leonard was going to get a cut of Gia's appearances and stuff. So, there, you know, this man collects on a lot, but either way, and I know I'm sure Carrie Ann collected a fee when she helped get the Danos deal for Teresa, which Louis threw in her face and harassed her over it, which is weird. Because, like, if Carrie Ann helped with that Danos deal, which, by the way, Teresa is no longer with Danos, but if Carrie Ann helped broker that, whether Carrie Ann got a cut or not, Louis should be happy that Carrie Ann helped land a $300,000 tequila deal for his wife. So for, you know, Louie to sit there and say like, oh, who the fuck do you think you are, Carrie Ann? Like, you know, you're not the top bitch here. Sit the fuck down. Like, that shows a lot in regards to Louie's character. But you guys have to realize that these people are definitely getting paid good money because I've always asked myself, because I've seen it, I've, I've heard it. Louie goes in on Jim Leonard like no other. He rips him a new one every other day on the phone. Even Louie's assistant, Jessica, rips Jim Leonard. 